added an organizer. So this stuff is pretty simple. Excuse the mess, I've just been doing a lot of things with the tank. So this is it, I got a pretty cheap, uh, very reasonable, it was like 40 bucks. Um, this is what Reef Dudes, Devin uses on his. Then I got the same air dryer that from uh, Amazon, it was like 20 bucks for that. So all in all, it was just like 60 bucks for everything. Can't, you know, I can't beat the price point of it. This is big enough to do 150 gallons, if I'm not mistaken. So it's more than enough for my 75 and my little 20 gallons down in on the sump, uh, you know, combined. And then you have the rock and sand displacement, so you know it's less than that. So, so this is it right here. This tube is the um, inlet where I have the air dryer attached to, and this is the um, output where I have it run back here. And I'm just going to open this up a smidge, which you can kind of see the mess back here. But this is the air dryer. So this is where the flow, it comes in here, goes through, and then it goes through in, into the um, ozonizer. This will change pinkish color as this is exhausted. This uh, takes the moisture out. So the ozonizer stays uh, in better condition for a lot longer with the lack of moisture going into it. As you can see, it has a flow direction here to let you know to put the hose this way. Put it. So as this changes colors, I don't know how long it will go. I'm not really running a whole lot of ozone. I'm running a very low amount of ozone. So, uh, let's put this, back. this is something that I'm just going to have to um, kind of have to do. So, in here, I gotta put some WP40 on it. <clears throat> As you can see, the hose comes in this way, and then I have it going right into the skimmer. I'm not doing a whole lot of ozone. I'm doing little goes a long way, Devin said. And um, so I'm doing small increments for like an hour. I'll do like five, I think it's milligrams, is it? Five to 10. And, um, and that's it. And then I'm going to see how it works on the tank for clarity. It's really for clarity. I mean, it does do some sterilization, but doesn't do a whole lot for the, the, at least my size of the tank anyway. Here, this is just a little bit of carbon that people tend to put on top of the skimmer. Just in case there's any leakage, it goes through the carbon. It, it, you know, it's like a little bit, the little bit of ozone that comes out of this hose goes right into the skimmer and gets circulated and it pretty much dissipates. So that's it. Because there's my rocks. I added those shelves in there for, for the 33, so a lot of this stuff in here is going downstairs with a little bit of uh, real rock that I bought. It's a very small amount of real rock. It was like 18 bucks. It was on sale per pound. I only got like three pounds of it. So I'm gonna kind of do something similar as a little island and then another little island and maybe one more. I'll see. I have to mess around with the rocks. I need to get some reef weld or something because this glue just doesn't cut it like this little rock here kind of moves and I've glued it several times and it just I need something stronger so I'm gonna try and get some uh, reef weld I think it is from Green Depot and give that a shot but anyway I'm off topic so this is what how I'm running ozone and like I said I got a ORP I don't know if you can see it it's yellow I got an ORP probe you turn the light on <clears throat> Got an ORP probe there. It was cheap, it was like 40 bucks, I think. Over at BRS, this is a BRS brand. So, <clears throat> and that's pretty much how I have that with the ORP. Once it hits a certain number, as a safety measure, if this ever goes up, 
past 350, the apex will turn off the ozonizer so it doesn't go past that and overdose the tank. It's all gonna go on the orb of levels. It's more of a, just a numbers game. The higher your orb, the clearer your water is. I put mine in here and it was 180. So it wasn't the best water clarity is the reason why I got it. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to try to shoot for anywhere between 250 to three, and I'll be happy with that. So we'll see how long that takes me to get there with everything, and I'll keep this posted. I just literally started this last night, and I'm just doing small increments, um, working my way up to an hour. Then after that, I'll do another hour and then see how it goes. Right now, I'm running it during the day while I'm here. So I wanna make sure everything's okay with this, that this doesn't leak or, you know, or have any odor or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing. And the lights are just kicked on around eight o'clock, the blues. You know, the blues always tend to be on the clear side, but this is pretty damn good for a little bit that I'm running it, but we'll really test it once the actual lights come on. Maybe when my texts come on, because when my texts come on, that really gives a lot of extra light and it almost makes everything look a little white, a little too white for me. Um, but <clears throat> we'll see, that'll definitely give me a better shot of the clarity of the water with those Tech 5050s on. I've noticed that it's probably just too much light with that, so I'm kind of cutting the Tech 5050 time in half to maybe like an hour and a half, two hours tops, and I'll do that midday, kind of like the peak of the sun, to at least give a little bit more white spectrum in there for some growth for the uh, coral. All right, guys, that is it. Anybody have any questions in regards to this, hit me up, let me know.